guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelly Marie. If you are new here, welcome. And from the title of the video, as you guys can see, we are doing my July BoxyCharm unboxing. I know it's been two weeks since I posted my last video, but I am back. Hence why the reason why my face is halfway done because I already looked in the box to see what I've received. So if you are curious to see what I received for the month of July, then continue to keep watching. <laughs> Okay guys, so I need to start with this product first because my eyebrows are not on and if you are not new to this channel then you know that I say having my eyebrows on before I do anything else. So the first the first product that we're gonna try, though I can't talk, is the Pen Pal 4 in 1 makeup pen and it's called Make a Mauve. I believe that's what it is because there is a mauve lip liner in here and this retails for $25 and it's from the brand Ali so so this is what the product looks like it looks like one of those old school pens if you grew up in the 80s and the 90s then you know about these type of pens where back in the day you would have like four different color pens you would have a red a blue a black and I think a green or a yellow, I'm not really sure, but it used to be like four color pens and then you would just click one down to, to write in and you just click. Then you would click, click another one just to bring it back up. So yeah, that's what you would use this for. So one of the products is a, is a uh, eyebrow pencil. So it's in the color coffee brown. So it's this one here. So we're going to test this out. And also if you want to get more product, you just twist for it to, you know, move up so you can try it out. I got a little bit of product out. So let's test it out. Okay, so this is what the eyebrows looking like with the pencil. Um, I really do think this is meant for touch-ups than actually trying to do your whole brow because I don't know, is this something about it that's not getting my brow the way I want it to get, but I'm gonna do this other eyebrow off camera and then I'll be right back. Okay, so the eyebrows are on. <laughs> Not my favorite. I can already tell this makeup is not going to come out the way that I want it to. Thank God I ain't going nowhere. But yeah, it's not my favorite, this eyebrow. But it is what it is. Okay, so I'm going to do two more products that I'm not going to be trying out today. Just because these are skincare products, which you guys know are my favorite products to test out from Charm. So the first skincare product is from Manaski. It is a vitamin infused eye serum and I'm not going to test this out anytime soon because I already have two more eye creams that I need to finish up. One that I use during the daytime, one that I use at nighttime and right now they're still feel pretty full but I'm excited to try this. It is a moisture boost, vitamin boost, feeding, nourishing and firming. It's fragrance free, it's pH balanced, it reduces dark circles and because it is a vitamin C infused eye serum, so it's going to be perfect for those who are trying to get reduce their dark circles, i.e. me. So, yeah, I'm excited to try this, and this retails for $63, and this is a one fluid out. So, this is like the size of a squeezy tube uh, foundation. So, this would, should last for a very long time. As well as this product here, which is another skincare product from Dermalect Cosmeceuticals. And this is an Alcrease Retinol Trifecta Serum. So this is what this product looks like. And it is, what is it? So it targets the sign of aging, 
fine lines, wrinkles, and large pores, and uneven skin tone. It promotes increased cell turnover and improves the look of congested and UV damaged skin. Results in skin that appears smoother, firmer, brighter, and more rejuvenated. Advanced strength serum suitable for all skin types. And this is what this product looks like. And this is also a one fluid ounce product, which I'm definitely excited to try this serum because the serum that I'm using now that I got from TJ Maxx is supposed to be like a vitamin C serum. It's supposed to help me reduce my dark circle, like not dark circle, my dark spots on my face. And it does absolutely nothing. Okay, it was a waste of freaking money. So I'm excited to try this. No, it doesn't say anything about dark spots, but it does say uneven skin tone. And I do have large pores. So um, yeah, I'm excited to try this when I'm done with that serum. So, oh, and this retails for $39, which is surprisingly kind of cheap that I would think a serum, especially if it's supposed to do all those claims, will cost way more than that. And this is only six then this is $63 and this is only supposed to be helping with like under eyes. You know, I thought this would this would cost more than this, but I guess not. So the next product that I got in my boxy charm is the exciting one. This was the product that I chose I wanted to be in my box. And this is from Ofra Cosmetics. I don't have anything from Ofra, never tried anything from Ofra, but this is their Good To Go Mini Mix Palette. So it has, let me take off the plastic. So it has all of these beautiful shades and uh, array of products to use for different things. So I feel like the top row is really meant for eyeshadow you have apparently this is their most popular highlighter and the color or their best-selling highlighter and called all of the lights then you have a blush a bronzer and then some more highlighters or you can also use these on your eyes as well if you want to do a little pop I think I know what I'm going to do to match my um my shirt that I have on and this retails for $39 so yeah I'm going to test out this whole palette and see how it works Before we hop back into the uh, using the this uh, palette, I'm going to try the last product that came out of my Charm, which is the Bella, the Bella Pierre. Excuse me, I guess the Bella Pierre Cosmetics is a liquid eyeliner in the color black. I can't wait to get my nails be done. Yo, my birthday is coming up. I go on my first trip of the year. No, I'm not because I want to. I'm in Miami. I go to my first trip out of the country this year, and I can't wait in two weeks. Which, of course, you guys know I have a video coming out for you guys of me showing you the things that I plan on bringing. So look out for a clothing and accessories haul. This is some things I'm waiting for, which it probably won't come by the time I leave, but 
whatever don't come by the time I leave, I'm going to show you what I did get, okay? So, anyway, this is what the liquid eyeliner looks like. And this retails for $20. And, like I said, it's in the color black. And this is the tip. I don't know if it's going to show because my camera is dumb. Is it showing? Is it showing? Okay, so this is the tip. I haven't used liquid eyeliner in so long, so I don't really know how I feel. So I need to get up real close to my camera, into my mirror. So please just bear with me. Now the tip of the eyeliner is kind of stiff, but it's flexible enough for you to do your wing, which I prefer. I really don't like a real flexible one because I mess up, but I also don't want no stiff behind tip either. So I prefer this gives me the happy medium of between stiff enough for me to get it precise, but flexible enough where I'm not tugging at my eye. You get what I'm saying? This eyeliner is way more precise than this one. But I'm going to finish the rest of my eyes off camera and then I'll be back. Okay guys, so we are back. So this is what the eyes are looking like. I decided to do some blue in the waterline to compensate with the blue in the inner corners. Just so it could be cute and fun. Which I think it just really pops this uh, coral on shirt that I have on with the coral orangey color that I have in the crease and everything. I just think this is just a cute a cute little summer summer look that you can wear uh, out to brunch at nighttime, you know. Probably not during the daytime. Might be a little bit too much. But I think other than that it's beautiful. So let's move on to finishing the rest of this face. Now again this face palette does come with a blush that I think will also look good with this. So I'm going to test out the blush. And my thoughts so far on this palette is that it's a very good palette for like, hold on. Where in the world is my blush brush? So this palette is very good for those, for traveling, for those who don't know how to work with um, eyeshadows and just wants to, just test out the waters or if you're getting your feet wet in Ofra Cosmetics, which is me because I don't have no Ofra Cosmetics. But I've heard about Ofra and how good they are and all that good jazz. And please don't mind these two little friends I have over here. FYI, your girl is about to come on her period. So, hmm. These are my little friends that decided to stop by and visit and a while okay so it also looks like this palette you can take out some of these uh some of these things and put them in a z palette if you wanted to add it to some of your other single shadows or something so you always have that choice as well but i don't have any magnet things so i'll probably just be doing like that and now I'm going to test out the famous, the best selling uh, highlighter in all of the lights. Now I don't know if I want to swirl it all in or just test out because I don't know about this pink. I'm thinking maybe I'll just stick to maybe this color here. It looks like the darkest. So I'll probably just stick to, stick to that. Ooh, this is pretty. That color is pretty. Okay, so we are done with the palette. I'm gonna go back into the pen because it has a highlighting uh, pen in the color Champagne. 
And I'm going to try to use that for under the eyes. And last but not least, I need to try out is they do have a black eyeliner in this pen, but I didn't want to do that uh, in the waterline, so that's why I have the blue. So I won't be testing that color out, but I'm going to be testing out the last color in this pen, and it is the lip liner in, in the color mauve. And this is me using all the products in the box. And this is what we came up with, which I think is super cute. Mine is my base. I really not feeling my base. Also, these two things are so freaking lucky. I'm not feeling my base really, but I'm going to take all this off anyway. <laughs> so, all in all, I do enjoy this box. Oh, I need a... Uh, Add up everything. So this month box valued at $186. It was a cool box. I think my favorite thing is probably the Ofra face palette because I feel like it has everything that you need. Um, a bronzer, eyeshadows, blush, highlighters, and you can just mix and match everything. As you guys saw, I didn't use the bronzer on my face. Even though... I felt like in the in the carton it looked dark enough, but I really don't think this is dark enough for me. So it was perfect for eyeshadow instead. But yeah, I think this is probably my favorite thing. And again, this was $39. And I'm really excited to keep trying this, keep testing it out. Um, my second favorite thing I think will probably be the eyeliner because again, I rarely use liquid eyeliner. I'm more of a pencil or a gel eyeliner girl. But I wanted to get back into gel eyeliner, I mean, liquid eyeliner, and I think this is a perfect introduction for me to get back into it. Like I said, the tip of it is stiff but flexible at the same time. It gives me that happy medium, and I like the fact that the handle is long, so that way I can really grip it and, you know, do what I need to do. Now, I'm not saying that everything else that I, that I use is terrible, except for the skincare, because I obviously haven't tried it. So this is probably be my least favorite thing, and it's not even really horrible. The lip liner, it glide on nice. It was not super creamy, but it wasn't stiff either. Again, it was like a heavy medium, so I was able to get that glide on very carefully. Um, the eyebrow pencil is in the color coffee brown, so it sort of kind of matches my eyebrows, but I really will only use this if I'm touching up, if I'm out. I wouldn't use this to actually sketch my eyebrows out and do everything. I'll probably use this again as a touch up. So this is probably for touch ups. Excuse me, I'm gonna throw this in my purse and if I feel like my eyebrows are starting to get kind of funky, just go into the bathroom, we'll pull out your mirror and just, you know, spruce your hair up. Now you will need to bring a spoolie with you if you don't have, because they don't come with one. So you can either bring a spoolie with you or, um, you know, whatever you use, you need to use for your eyebrows. The highlighter that came with it, it's cool. I mean, I really don't see it on my skin tone, but I mean, it's, it's cool. It's cool. And I said, like I said, I didn't use the, the black eyeliner that comes with it just because... I wanted blue eyeliner in my waterline. So yes, you guys, that is me reviewing everything that I got in my boxy charm for this month. If you have boxy charm, please let me know down in the in the comment section below. What did you get? Did we get the same things? What did you like? What did you dislike? Let's start a conversation down there. I'm also on the road to a thousand. I would love to get to a thousand by my birthday. If not, then at least by the end of the year to start off 2022 on a good 
know so please don't forget to like comment subscribe and share with your friends your family your associates your enemies share it everywhere that you are on social media also check out my social medias they will always be linked down below or at the end of my videos i love you guys thank you so much for the support and i'll see you in my next one bye